Good evening and Salaam Alaikum, peace be with you. I was pleased that Lord Sheikh reminded everybody about my great humility, but I've never ever gone in for false modesty. I am a layman and I will not deny being intelligent. What am I going to talk about? A little bit more about me. I want to recap on the science an objection which I've heard on so many occasions do these risks matter numerically and what should you do and then after that we will go over to question answers so me I had a science education many many decades ago but I've been reading about science virtually all of my life but my professional career was spent as a tax advisor and as a partner in PricewaterhouseCoopers I underwent psychometric testing and I've never forgotten the diagnosis that came out of being ENTJ under Myers-Briggs and at the weekend I looked up what ENTJs are and I was quite amused particularly about forceful in presenting their ideas in well-informed and well-read so that's me <laughs> recap on the science there's an article on my website about the risks of marrying your first cousin and on it I got links to nine peer-reviewed scientific papers which you can download and read these are the titles I'm not going to go through these papers the point I want to make about the science is very simple there is no scientific controversy this is an issue on which the science is crystal clear and agreed geneticists might find little tiny things to disagree about at the margins about particular genes but the basic science is agreed and not in doubt first of all to cut through all the detail if you marry a complete random stranger picked from anywhere on the planet you still have a roughly two percent chance that your baby might have a severe genetic disorder if the person you've married is your first cousin roughly speaking that risk goes up to 5% so you've chosen to incur an extra 3% risk <coughs> that's what this that's what we're talking about I w heard this about a decade or more ago from a very intelligent very highly educated lawyer he's married his first cousin they got four healthy children of course you probably would that 5% risk means that 19 out of 20 births there isn't a problem but that risk is still there and does it matter <coughs> that th extra 3% risk and the article on my website playing Russian roulette with my baby I picked that title because if you had a big revolver with a hundred barrels which was loaded with 97 blanks and three live bullets would you choose to play Russian roulette with it or if you were told that the airplane you're going to take to fly from here to New York crashes 3% of the time would you take that airplane very few of us would so what should you do about it if you're not married to a cousin my view is very simple don't get married to a cousin if you absolutely must if your cousin is very very rich and you want to marry your first cousin get some genetic testing first if you are married to a cousin it's too late then you should get some genetic testing before you have children if it finds that there's a problem as you've heard with in vitro fertilization there is a way to have children safely even if you and your cousin share a recessive genetic disorder that's it very simple over the questions and answers <coughs>